Huge power, huge tires, race bread brakes. The Chevy Corvette ZR1 and Nissan GTR have it all. But which one delivers the most complete package? We decided to find out by pitting the two head to head on the street and at the test track. They both returned supercar numbers, but one clearly came out on top. Our first stop was the dyno shop to see just how much power they're putting to the ground. The Nissan GTR is rated from the factory at 480 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. But on the dyno, it put down 406 horsepower and 399 pound-feet of torque. The more powerful ZR1 is rated at 638 horsepower and 604 pound-feet of torque from the factory. On the dyno, it delivered an amazing 505 horsepower at the wheels and 494 pound-feet of torque. From there, it was on to the test track to run some numbers. First up, zero to 60 and quarter mile acceleration. With its electronic launch control engaged, the GTR ran a best time of 3.8 seconds to 60 and an astonishing 11.8 second quarter mile at 118 miles per hour. The rear wheel drive ZR1 was hard to launch, but it eventually hooked up for another 3.8 second run to 60 and an incredible 11.5 second quarter mile run at 128 miles per hour, a new inside line record. The ZR1 matched another record in the braking test as it stopped from 60 miles per hour in just 96 feet, 10 feet shorter than the GTR. Through the slalom, the ZR1 was unbeatable again, posting an average speed of 74.7 miles per hour. But the GTR wasn't far behind, with the best run of 74 miles per hour exactly. But it was no contest on the skid pad, as the Corvette turned in a record 1.06G, while the all-wheel drive GTR could only muster a 0.93G performance. Finally, to see how these cars put it all together, we headed to the streets of Willow Road Course in Rosamond, California to run a few hot laps. The two cars couldn't have felt more different. The GTR was smooth, easy to push hard, and docile at the limit. Yeah, it understeers, but it's fast too, with a top speed of 112 miles per hour on the back straight and a best lap of a minute, 25.09 seconds. The rear-wheel drive ZR1 was more of a handful. It requires careful modulation of throttle to limit oversteer and more steering input. There's a ton of grip though, and the carbon brakes are bulletproof. Its supercharged engine powered it to a top speed of 117 miles per hour on the back straight and a best lap of 1 minute 23.87 seconds. That's more than a second quicker per lap than the GTR. So once again the ZR1 came out on top. Whether it's going in a straight line, around a corner, or hard on the brakes, this Corvette is simply unbeatable. Sure, its six-figure price tag puts it in some pretty exclusive territory, but the ZR1 backs it up with a world-class performance that no other production car can touch. <laughs>